Hello, kitty cats. How is everybody doing today? I hope everyone is well. And it is Friday. So we got a haul, y'all. We got a June haul. And we got a good one. We got six things. Two, three, four. Life six. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. So we are not going to waste too much time today with chit chat. But um, I just want to show you that I do have on the love cats or dogs, whatever. This paw can be either, I guess. We're calling it a kitty cat paw. So I have on my Love Cats little bracelet. And it's so cute. I really like it. Also have on the, what they called stainless steel. We hauled this quite a few weeks ago. And I just wanted to give you an update that we have no green wrist and no tarnish yet on the bracelet. So hopefully it is what they said it was and it is stainless steel, let's hope. Um, I do have on the Sterling Silver wider huggy earrings with the little crystal stones that we hauled quite a few weeks ago as well. Okay, and I have on the Murano glass ring that we hauled the other week, and it has not turned my finger green yet either, so hopefully it is a uh, silver base and not silver over metal. So it's doing well, and also the... The big heavy wheat link chain that we got quite a while ago. Um, it is still on. We have no green neck and no discoloration of the chain. So we're hoping that is also what they said it was, which was stainless steel. Have on the little uh, black faux nose ring with the a little rhinestone and you know that's just fun so like i've said before jewelry um, especially costume jewelry should just be for fun 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 all right guys so let's get into this haul um let's see no clue, guys, no clue, but it feels like whatever it is has filled up the package, so I don't want to cut into it. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought I heard the uh, UPS guy coming, but he drove Let us see what this is. Oh, okay. This is um, a little kitchen accessory. Now, I saw Bonnie on the Bonnie Life haul this uh, a couple weeks ago. And I thought, hey, I like that. So I went on and I found myself one and it came in a di couple different colors. I got the green. I don't know why, um, but it is a little pot scrubber, silicone pot scrubber, and it has little scrubby teeth 
on it. You can hear this, and it's got a little uh, silicone hook here that you can hook it up on the sink. And it's supposed to work really well. I had a couple people tell me that they have these and that they really, really work. Um, so we will see. Uh, I like the idea of the silicone because the, the sponges are really bacteria collectors. So you use it, you let it air dry, yes, but... especially if there's still food in there and whatever, they are really bacteria collectors. Where the silicone, you use it, you rinse it out, let it air dry, and it's good to go. These can even go into the dishwasher, so you can sterilize them with the hot dishwasher water if you need to. Uh, so we will see guys, I'll give you a little update on this, but I'm excited about this. I'm excited to try this. So thank you, Bonnie, for the suggestion. Okay, package number two. Package number two. Let's get into this guy and see what we got. Okay. All right. So I think this is. I'm gonna cut this, guys, because I don't. I have no patience today. I just have no patience today. I'm alone all day today. Uh, I had no visiting nurse, and my home health aide didn't come today. And Tony went into work at 8 o'clock, and he works a 12-hour day today, so he works until 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, so I'm not going to see him until... Probably nine o'clock. So, not happy about that. So, I'm kind of bored. Um, at any rate, guys, uh, it is a, another addition to our Meow Squad cap. And this one is so cute. And it is a safety pin with a kitty cat. Safety pin with kitty cat. And I love her. Look at those almond-shaped marquee stones that she's got in her eyes. Um, kind of makes me think of a little bit more Siamese. And makes me think of Mia. And even though Mia is a Balinese... Balinese are mixed with Siamese. And so she's got the Siamese points. Uh, she's a seal point Siamese. And she's got the big, beautiful blue eyes like this little gal. And this little gal has got some sparkly on the bottom part of the pin. And then the top part of the pin opens there. To go on to your hat or your coat or your dress or whatever the heck you want to wear it on. Because it's your pin and you wear it on whatever you want to wear it on. But we're going to put it on our Meow Squad cap. And she is so cute. So next video, she'll be on the cap. I think I'm gonna put her, I think I'm gonna put her up here, down there, or I don't know where I'm gonna put her.
She's really big. She's really big. But I love her. Um, now, I got to tell you that this hat, it occurred to me the other day when it was like 90 degrees, that this hat is going to be way too hot for the summertime. And I do like to wear a cap uh, most of the time, um, especially when I go out. Um, and in the winter, I like to wear the cap to keep my ears warm and my head warm. In the summertime, I like to wear the cap to keep the sun out of my eyes because I have really a lot of trouble with bright light in my eyes. Um, and I also wear the baseball cap to sort of keep the sun from beating down on my little bald spot back, back here. Um, for years, I denied the bald spot, but I can't deny it anymore. Um, because I've, I've seen it when I've been on video and not worn a cap and I've been down to do stuff and I, so I can't, I can't deny it anymore. There's a bald spot back there. Um, so it occurred to me that this cap is going to be way too hot for the summer. Um, so I did go on Zoom and I did find the perfect, I hope, We'll see when it comes, but the perfect sort of little kitty themed baseball cap um, that I can put my Meow Squad pins on uh, for the summer. So as soon as that comes, we'll haul that and we'll put the pins from, from this hat onto the summer cap. Um, and then in the fall, we'll switch back. Um, so I'm anxious for that to come. Uh, it'll probably be, you know, October by the time I get it because I ordered it from June, but whatever. Um, an update on my eyes, guys. They've gotten really, really, really bad. I cannot see. I really cannot see almost anything. Um, anything I do on my phone, I need the magnifier. Um, and even then, it's hard for me to see. Now, my visiting nurse thinks I have pink eye. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Pink eye, yay or nay. I've never had pink eye, so I don't know. Um, and does pink eye affect your vision with a haziness? Um, I read online, I didn't read, I had Google read it for me, um, that pink eye can give you a hazy white, like fog to your eyes. Um, at any rate, I have a doctor's appointment on Monday, uh, Monday afternoon with my PCP. So I'm going to have him look at them and tell me whether he can give me some medication to help uh, clear up my vision or whether it's pink eye or not pink eye or whatever. I don't know. But I just have to get to the eye doctor. Either way, I have to get to the eye doctor. At any rate, come on, guys. You got me blabbering again. So let's go ahead and open this package. And this package is actually something else for the kitchen. Oh, hooray. Okay, so not just jewelry, jewelry, jewelry anymore, which is good. So this I got for the kitchen. Um, I don't know why I got so many different colors of things. Um, I got the green scrubby, and this I got in yellow. And this actually is a um, spoon holder for when I'm cooking 
um, spaghetti sauces or that kind of stuff, gravy or whatever. And you take the spoon out and you, you never know where to put the spoon. Um, and so I got a little silicone spoon holder and it's in yellow and it just sits on your counter or your stove and um, you know after you're done stirring then you just set the spoon set the spoon in there so it doesn't mess up your counter or your stove and it's silicone so it's very rubbery it's very soft um, but it sits really nice <clears throat> and it'll wash wash really easy and so that is the uh, silicone spoon holder. I like it. I do. I like it. Okay. We got three things left, guys, dudes, and dudettes. All right. Let's see what we have in this package. What do we got? I do not know. Let us go and find out. Shall we? I think we shall. Okay. All right. I think we have another addition to our squad cap. I'll tell you, I'm going to have this thing filled up, but I, you know how I get, you know how I get, I get on something and then I just buy everyone I see, but th this one is really cute as well, and she is all covered in stones, and she's got some different color stones in her, so she's a little multicolor, which you know I love multicolors gemstones and her face is really cute sitting with her tail wrapped in front of her and that's the way Mia sits Mia will sit with her tail wrapped around the front of her feet um, and it's so cute because her tail is so huge and bushy and she's just so guys she's so pretty she's just so pretty uh, but this pin is really pretty too so she, she will go on our Meow Squad cap really nicely. She probably actually had two on that side, so um, where is it? She'll probably go over here. What do you think? She's so cute. She's big. She's bigger than I thought she was going to be. But that is um, another uh, Meow Squad pin for our hat. Yupper. All right, guys. Two more left. Two more, then you're rid of me. Okay. See what we got in here. What do we got? What do you got, mommy? Hey, come in. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy. What you doing, buddy, buddy? Eating. Okay. Oh, all right. So this uh, is a piece of jewelry, of course. And this is a black titanium ring with the rhinestones or the crystals or whatever they are. I'm um, pretty sure they're not white sapphires or topaz. They might be. I'm not sure. They sparkle really nice. I can't see what size I got this in, so let me get out my handy dandy jeweler's loop. And it looks like we got this in a size 12, guys. 
So we got this to fix a different finger. And this one I got, actually I ordered this one because I thought it had black stones. I thought it was black with black stones. But now I see that it's black with white stones. So it's not exactly um, what I thought it was going to be. But it's the same one as the uh, rainbow one that we hauled last week. Just in black. Same style. Just in black. Um, so a size 12 will fit me there. So it'll either fit this finger, um, it should fit this finger, which it does a little loose. It should also fit my thumb, which it does. So I can either wear this guy on my thumb or wear him on the pointer finger, which I think is where I want to wear him. Number one, we are number one on YouTube. Anyway, the stones go all the way around on him, guys. And he is, he is the band ring set in black. And, and you know, guys, um, we hauled the, the wedding sets uh, weeks ago. These would make beautiful wedding bands as well, uh, especially men that don't really want a traditional wedding band. Um, these guys would be perfect. So yeah, got him at a 12. Um, the 10, if I got him in a 10, he would have been cool to stack, maybe. Uh, but he's not going to fit this finger. He's going to drop right off. So, and I've had a problem this this week, guys. Um, I've gotten my, my sugars um, more controlled in the last two weeks. Uh, with my insulin and uh, medication. So I've gotten them more controlled and I'm far less swollen and far less puffy. Um, so I will be sitting in the living room and put my hands down and feel rings just slipping off and hitting the floor and then I can't find them because I can't see. Uh, this one slipped off and hit the floor the other day, and I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and could not find the darn thing, and then finally Tony got up and, and walked past and bent down and picked it right up. It was right in front of me. Uh, at any rate, uh, that's neither here nor there. I... Like I said before, I'm looking for rings to fit um, other fingers other than than this finger so that I can wear more than one at a time. All right. Oh, last one, guys. This is the last one for this week. Oh. That's no fun. That is no fun, guys. No fun. Oh, what is it? Anxious to see because it fills the package. It's flat and kind of squishy. And since we already got our... So we already got our pot scrubber and we already got our uh, butterfly mold. I can't imagine what this is. It does not feel like a mold. So let's go and see. If I can get a hold of it. 
come on. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. The kitty cat. It is a change purse. It's a change purse. That's what it is. It's a change purse with a little kitty cat face on it. How cute is that face? And two little ears that stick up. Little kitty cat ears and big sad kitty cat eyes. Which always gets me. They always get me. And pink nose. Kind of looks a little bit like Chewy. Not really. Chewy has a big white strip down his nose, which always makes me laugh. All right. And it has got a zipper. Let's see if the zipper works. And it does. Open and closed. It does. And it's lined. Um, okay, what's on the lining, guys? Okay, it's lined with little flowers. Couldn't see. It's lined with little flowers. And it's got just the plain back. And it's kind of velvety. The front is um, is like a sateen, and then the back is kind of a, a brown velvet, and the ears are just kind of a brown velvet, velveteen, uh, with a sateen silk print on the front. Oh, so cute. And I figured when I get mobile again, and I can get out of the house and uh, go to the stores, this would be great to carry my change. Um, because I'll still be in a wheelchair, and it's hard to get in and out of your pocket in a wheelchair. So I figured this would be cute to carry, carry my change in, and my money, or my wallet. Stick my wallet down in there. And also my change. So how cute is that, guys? So cute, so cute. Okay. So we had a nice haul this week, guys. We really had a nice haul. Uh, we got a couple pieces of jewelry. And we got this ring. We got the scrubby. We got the spoon holder. We got... The kitty cat change purse. And we have two kitty cat pins for our Meow Squad hat. So, yes, kitty cats, kitty cats. We have the theme going. Did you ever? ever, ever doubt that we would be hauling mostly kitty cat stuff. So, guys, that is it. That is our haul for this Friday. I hope you enjoyed it, and I certainly hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. If by chance you've just stumbled by and watched my video, um, and you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, we are on our way to 200 subscribers. And as soon as we get 200 subscribers, we're going to do a fabulous 200 sub giveaway. And my giveaways are no joke, guys. I send you, I send you a nice size box packed with stuff. Packed. Packed. Asked our kitty cat Michelle Purdue um, how full that box was that she she received for the 100 sub giveaway. Um, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe. If you would like to know when I put out videos, please feel free to hit the bell. 
um, next to the subscribe button that will alert you whenever I put out new videos. I put out a video at least twice a week, sometimes more. And thank you so much for all of my loyal subbies that have been with me since the beginning or been with me for a while because quite frankly, um, we're a fairly new channel, but we've been on for a while. Um, we've been here since last uh, November, um, right before I went into the hospital for the big surgeries. Um, so we've been here for a while, guys, and uh, I think that um, we're, I think we're at 160 subs. Uh, something like that, um, 160 maybe with a little change. And to me, that's amazing, amazing for only being on since November. Um, I would love to hit 200 subscribers by the end of summer um, so we can do this giveaway. I appreciate the fact that you guys are here, that you stick with me that you watch my videos regularly, that you comment, that you give me such good feedback. You let me know what you like, you let me know what you don't like, you answer questions that I have on videos. And, um, and it's amazing, I love you guys. You're my friends, you're my buddies. I love seeing you every week. Thank you for being part of the Meow Squad. And coming and playing in the litter box with me every week because um, it means a lot to me. More to me than you guys will ever know, quite frankly. You've helped me uh, overcome quite a few uh, fears and anxieties. So I appreciate you being here. Um, and speaking of answering questions, the answer to the trivia question that I posed last week when I asked you um, if you remembered where, I'm so glad we've had this time together, and now it's time to say so long, where that was from. And a lot of you uh, commented, and the answer to that trivia question is, dun dun dun, dun the Carol Burnett Show, the Carol, Carol Burnett Comedy Hour um, in the 70s. So that was that question. Now, here's the trivia question for this week. Um, in Wednesday's Storytime video, I called the Just the Right Shoe. And one of the shoes I hauled was this shoe, which was called Calla Lily. And this shoe was a QVC exclusive when it first came out. You could only buy it from QVC. Okay, QVC is a home shopping channel like HSN. CVN. Um, it was the original um, shopping channel. Now, here the the um, network itself is headquartered in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Bet you didn't know that. Westchester, Pennsylvania, and um, that's very close where we are and you can go and I've been there quite a few times and you can go and you can shop there they do have a store um, and then you go upstairs and you can take a tour through the building which you walk around in a in a in a big circle and the inside of the circle is all glass and that is the TV studio where they shoot QVC. 
and you can look down at the studio and all the sets and stuff and actually stand up there and watch them broadcast live. Uh, so it's very cool. And I've taken my mother there. I took my my Aunt Helen there, um, who, again, we were all QVC fanatics. We fell down the rabbit hole and fell hard on QVC. Um, in fact, my aunt was getting packages from QVC after she died. Uh, but she passed away. I flew down to her house in Florida to sort of close it up. And while I was there for 10 days, I don't even know how many boxes came to the door, but quite a few <laughs> QVC boxes came to the door. So Aunt Helen, she was shopping after she died. She was getting boxes after she passed, uh, which I thought was absolutely hysterical. Um, so the boxes would come, I'd open them up and I'd say, oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Aunt Helen. I, I will take this home and I'll use it. Um, okay, so the trivia question for this week, because I'm, again, I'm babbling on. Ay, 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 guys, I have no life. Trivia question for this week. What do the letters Q, V, C stand for? Do you know what Q, V, C stands for? Let me know down in the comments what you think the right answer is. And I will let you know next week the correct answer. Because I know, but do you know? And no cheating, no cheating, no looking it up and then answering the question. Only if you know or think you know, put it down in comments. Okay guys, that's enough. I love you so much. I love you all, each and every one of you. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome. Uh, I hope you find our channel fun and happy and formative. Uh, please stay and join the litter box and the meow squad and come and have fun with us every week in the litter box. So until next time, guys, you know what I want. I want you to be happy, I want you to be healthy, I want you to be safe. I do not want you to get fleas, okay? So guys, take care, have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you next time, okay? Bye.